Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This information is for entertainment only. I am not trained in physics. Is this useful? Is this nonsense? Join me as I attempt to learn from GPT. Here is Timeless Physics by GPT. Episode 15. Microstates and Macrostates in a Static Ensemble. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dive into the coolest concepts in physics and bring them to life. Today we're unraveling a topic that sounds like it's straight out of a theoretical physicist notebook, but trust me, it's incredibly cool and relevant. We're talking about microstates and macrostates in a static ensemble. This is all about peeking at the universe's underlying structure without the flow of time messing things up, so let's freeze time and dive in. Understanding Microstates and Macrostates First up, let's break down these terms. In the world of physics, particularly in statistical mechanics, microstates are the detailed, specific ways in which a system can be arranged, right down to the position and energy of each particle. Imagine knowing the exact detail of every atom in a cup of water. Those are the microstates. Macrostates, on the other hand, are like the big picture. They describe the system in terms of observable averages like temperature, pressure, or volume. So when you check the temperature of that cup of water, you're considering its macro state. Static Ensemble, a timeless snapshot. Now what do we mean by a static ensemble? Imagine if we could take a snapshot of our system like freezing our cup of water into a single, unchanging scene. In this static view, nothing changes over time. This allows us to analyze the system's properties without worrying about how they evolve. Perfect for getting a clear picture of how microstates contribute to macrostates. Let's visualize this with something fun. Imagine a game where you've got a thousand dice. Each die can land on numbers one through six. These are your microstates. Now, throw all those dice into a big glass bowl. The total sum of all those dice, that's your macrostate. In a static ensemble, it's like we've frozen the moment the dice have landed, and now we're analyzing the pattern in sum without rolling again. You might be wondering why physicists bother with this kind of analysis. It turns out, understanding how microstates contribute to macrostates in a static ensemble helps us grasp how things behave in real life. This approach is crucial for fields like thermodynamics and quantum mechanics, where it's often impossible to track every little detail, microstate, but you can measure overall properties, macrostates. In practical terms, this concept helps in areas like material science, where understanding the static properties of materials at the atomic level, microstates, can inform their macroscopic properties like strength or conductivity. It's also key in computing and cryptography, especially in algorithms that rely on random states and their probabilities. So, there you have it. A journey into the frozen world of microstates and macrostates in a static ensemble. By freezing time and taking a closer look, we get to see how the tiny details contribute to the big picture in ways that just aren't possible when everything's in motion. If you found this exploration fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with more awesome content. Have thoughts or questions about microstates and macrostates? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you and discuss further. Thanks for watching. Keep those neurons firing and as always stay curious. Catch you in the next video where we'll unfreeze time and see what happens next. Thank you for joining us for another Cognition Chunks.